Hi everybody and welcome back. Well it's time for another Dummies Linux video in a series of Dummies Linux videos for 2012. Now these series of videos are designed for new folks coming over to Linux and or uh, dual booting. So if you are interested in using a Linux based uh, operating system and are currently running Windows 7 and wanted to try something based on Linux and maybe dual boot then you have come to the right place. But for this particular uh, video here I wanted to just take a quick look at Zubuntu. Now Zubuntu <coughs> is a lightweight Linux based uh, distribution designed for older computers and older I would say oh you know five six years old maybe something with less than a gigabyte of RAM and of course a single core processor now of course you can install this on a newer computer desktop or laptop if you so choose to but what I did here I tested this on an old uh, ThinkPad uh, let me see I think it's a ThinkPad R40 pretty much outdated laptop but I used a machine like that to test um, operating systems that are designed specifically for that. Now what I have here is just a quickie video. Let me play the video with no sound and I will just do some voiceover. Okay so this is the new uh, Zubuntu uh, 12.04. The final version should be out here uh, I think the 26th, 27th. Uh, so you may want to wait until then until the final version so they can uh, fix any late minute bugs. This here on the desktop, you can right click as you would in uh, Windows 7, and you can go into a menu, submenu type of format, which is very easy to use. These are the um, background menu icons. The background wallpaper, there's not a lot here. Of course, you can always uh, download a lot of free ones. And you can change the size of the icons on your desktop using that little button right there in the middle. At the bottom you have brightness and saturation controls too. The top you have a panel bar similar to what was in GNOME 2 or the old Ubuntu. This is the sound card mixer and its various options. You can click select controls to give you more expanded view of accessibility options in the sound mixer. And I added a um, system monitor as you can see or maybe caught it's only using 200 megabytes even with the screencast recording running at the time. And the time and uh, time and date again very simple and easy. There's a weather app there that you can add by right clicking as you could in the old uh, Ubuntu GNOME 2. Add new items, you can search and add applets accordingly. Notice that at the bottom there is a docky type panel bar that comes installed by default in Ubuntu 12.04. All right, I click the file system manager and this will bring up of course the folders in the file system and as you can see they are separated quite easily uh, and easy to read also. If I click the top left icon there it'll give you a menu system similar to the old uh, Windows XP or more precisely Windows 2000. Again all I'm doing is hovering over the uh, menu over each software over the menu and it gives me the submenu. Now I tested this on a ThinkPad R40. This by the way is the update manager to check and see if your system requires updates. But I tested this on a ThinkPad R40. 
I forget the processor's uh, processor speed. Not very quick. I believe about 700 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it was quite stable, no crashes, not as zippy as I would have liked. If you're looking for something even faster, I would recommend Lubuntu. That's Lubuntu with an L. Lubuntu requires 128 megabytes of RAM. This requires at least 100, uh, or rather 256 megabytes of RAM. So if you want something even faster than this, take a look at Lubuntu. But Zubuntu with an X is just fine also. And once again, the menu submenu similar to Windows 2000. This is the settings options here or uh, similar to the uh, control panel in Windows 7. I just click the power manager and you can change the options here from general AC battery and extended options here including suspend and system standby. Okay. We're getting towards the end of this, but this is Ubuntu 12.04. Let me just pause it here. Ubuntu, uh, Zubuntu 12.04. Download this. I will post a link to the Zubuntu website. The final version should be released here in a few days. Once it's finalized, it should be pretty much stable, ready to go. This, again, is designed for older computers. If you have less than a gigabyte of RAM or say 512 megabytes of RAM, this should be fine. Uh, if you don't like this, uh, you can also take a look at Lubuntu with an L, but I tested this before the final release to be released and it seemed stable. So from, from what I saw and kind of practice with, it seemed okay to me. So check this out if you are coming from Windows 7. Windows 7 and wanted something lightweight and small, just something to try out, Zubuntu might be the one for you. All right, that's it for this edition of Total OS Today. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.